Hello there, and welcome to another short shot from the Sure Shot. I'm Woody Baird, I'm the owner of the Sure Shot, and today we're going to be discussing the difference between recoil operated shotguns and gas operated shotguns. And I'm going to try to explain that to you. The biggest difference between the two guns is in the gas operated gun, gas is actually utilized to work the action. And I'm going to show you here by taking this Beretta apart. Under the forearm here, you have your forearm. Well, right here, there's a hole in, in the barrel. To make the firearm function, there's a hole drill in here. When you shoot it, gas shoots down in here, hits the piston, drives the, the bolt to the rear. There's enough force on the piston there to drive the bolt to the rear. That ejects your fired round, and as it moves forward, it hits the feed latch, the feed uh, around comes out of the magazine and it's fed into the chamber so you're ready to shoot again. And to show you this a little better, this is your barrel and there's your gas piston. That fits in here, there's a cylinder and the piston and the cylinder pushes back and hits, hits the operating parts of the firearm, the action rod, and pushes the bolt back and like I said, makes it function. Now the difference between that and the recoil operated, and I'm gonna use the the Benelli, as my example, on the recoil operated because it uses uh, what we call inertia, uh, the inertia recoil system. This is your Benelli. Instead of having a hole in the barrel, it uses the explosive power of the cartridge. There's no hole in the barrel, it uses the explosive power of the cartridge. What it does is when it, when it goes off, the inertia from the explosion pushes the bolt, but this is a rotating bolt. It pushes the bolt back, it unlocks the bolt. There's a spring in the stock, much like an AR, 15 rifle. Pushes this, the, the pushes the bolt back so that it, it ejects around, hits the feed latch, feeds another one into the chamber, and then it, then it goes back and chambers up again. But there's no direct gas involved in the operation. Now the, the different operating system, a gas gun, is easier to shoot because you don't have to worry about backing it up. So small people, small statured people can shoot a gas gun easier than they can shoot a recoil gun. The thing about a recoil operated gun, you have to have it backed up so it has something to work against. So the inertia of the recoil can cause the action to actually work, cycle. And a lot of times that's what you'll see in, in recoil operated guns with having malfunctions and not wanting to feed is that people are not backing them up. They're soft shouldering them a little bit and then they don't want to work. But uh, in a nutshell, that's basically the difference between the recoil operated shotgun and the gas operated shotgun. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again. <laughs>